The Ryzen 5 7000 series needs about 65 up to 105 watts. And to cool those Ryzen CPUs, I have chosen two really nice coolers. First, I have an air cooler by Be Quiet, and secondly, I have a water cooler by Corsair. The Dark Rock Slim is a really nice CPU cooler for a great budget. You get 180 watt TDP, the fans won't get louder as 24 decibel, and you get a really nice compact design which won't hinder your RAM or anything else. But let us start with TDP, which is 180 watt, and this is more than enough for most CPUs, especially if you have a lower CPU like the Ryzen 5 760 or even a Ryzen 7, then the CPU cooler can cool them without even going to the full load. And this is great because 24 decibel is already really silent, but if your CPU don't have to go to the full load, then you can run those at 60 or 50% and then you can't even hear them if they're inside your PC case. So that's great, but there's more to it. You get eight heat pipes, four on each side, and they go relatively high. This is because so the RAM won't be hindered, but they don't go as high as some other coolers, so it will fit in most PC cases. Then of course there's the price, and if you compare it with some other CPU coolers, it is really budget friendly. But you can check out the exact price in the description below. The installation is easy as well. You just have to screw in a few scrums and that's all that you have to do. The thermal compound is already included, so you won't have to buy anything extra. And there's even an extra tip if you want to use it with a really powerful CPU. You can just buy another fan and put it here. So you have two fans which you can use simultaneously to have a really quiet but powerful system. And this will be enough for even a Ryzen 9 CPU. With the Corsair water cooler, you will get a nice CPU water cooler with a great RGB design and of course a lot of performance because of those two fans which can go up to 2400 RPM and a big radiator. But let's start talking about those RGB fans because quite frankly, if you have really bad CPU fans, then it doesn't matter if you have a nice radiator and a nice pump because they will be the weakest point of your whole CPU system and they won't transfer your heat efficiently away. But if you have some nice fans, then the story changes because they can be really silent and Corsair has some of those fans because this is a fan which operates on a magnetic levitation bearing. This means it is really smooth and if I do something like this, without putting too much force into it, it will just spin and it won't scratch anywhere there, which makes unpleasant noises. So the noise level here is really well and it can go up to 2400 RPM or if you want to have it in decibel, it will go up to 37 decibel. Of course, 37 decibel is higher than some other CPU coolers and I fully acknowledge this, but you probably won't use them in full mode very often. Because my setup is like this, I use them in 50% most of the times, and when I do a really light tasks, I even go up to 20%, but of course there are times when I want the full power. This is especially true if I render a video, because this consumes a lot of CPU energy, then they will go up to 100%, but most of the times they will be at 50%, which will be around 24 decibel, which is more than enough silent. And even if you have a really powerful CPU, which drains a lot of power, let's say you have a Threadripper CPU, then you can put the PC down, then this will be silent as well. Or if it is near your ear, then you should maybe put on some headphones, because then you can't hear them at all as well. But under normal circumstances, they are nice. Then of course, we have to talk about the RGB options, which you will get with those. You can control the RGB via the ICUE software, which is provided by Corsair, and you can set absolutely anything you want with patterns or RGB changes, or let's say you want to have it blue there, green there. You can do all of this with the software. So this is a really nice software and it will allow you to customize those fans just to your liking. But the RGB fun doesn't stop there because your pump has some RGBs integrated as well. It's just one circle there and the logo can be illuminated as well. Of course, it isn't as great as some other alternatives where you can even put some text in here but it's more than good enough and it looks really great, especially in dark places. And when we are speaking about the pump, 
The pump is good, but it can be heard if anything else is completely silent. So let's say you want to have a completely silent CPU, especially if you do nothing, then you can hear a little bit of a high tone by this pump. It is really not much, but it is noticeable, especially if your PC is right left from you or right right from you. So this has to be considered, but in most circumstances, if you put even one fan on, it will be louder than this pump. And of course, then there's the radiator, which has one big advantage, or what I just say, this is the big advantage a water cooler has over an air cooler. If you have high peaks of energy, this water can absorb the high peaks really well and the CPU fans don't have to spin up very fast for a short amount of time. So if you have a continuous energy drainage, then there isn't that much of an advantage of this radiator. But if you have short but really intensive energy spikes, which could come if you play games, then this is really nice. But of course, there's one thing to consider if you go with water cooling. The CPU installation is absolutely no problem. You can install this anywhere because it is just so low in height, but a radiator brings a little bit of thickness to the configuration. And especially in some compact PC cases where you have a really large GPU, it can be that you won't have the extra place for a radiator plus the thickness of your fan plus the thickness of your GPU, but you have to look for that yourself. And in most circumstances, especially if you have a normal sized PC case, this won't be a problem at all. 